Okay, one o'clock, and I will share my screen here, and we will get going. Avish, let me know that I could that you could see that. Can you see? Oh, can you see the screen? Uh, yep, now I can see your screen. Okay, cool. So, uh, anyway, welcome everybody, and uh, Avish is on the line. And also, I wanted to show you one of my other JV partners who we haven't spoken about in a while, and this is the site for therapy training videos and uh, it's not fully functional yet uh, but the concept here is to give people who are in the psychology community psychotherapists etc a place where they can learn how to do various types of therapy from experts and the model is to recruit a total of 10 experts and give them a piece of the action based on the number of people who sign up. And this is with my buddy Elliot Connie, who is a therapist, getting to be very pretty well known in his field of solution-based therapy. And the idea here would be to create sort of a Netflix kind of model where people would be able to pay a monthly fee and watch an unlimited number of videos on, on therapy and therapy-related topics, basically how, learning how to do various modalities of therapy. And they would pay a subscription fee monthly. They would pay, you know, uh, depending on, we're not sure exactly what the model is going to be, but anywhere from 10 to $20 a month. Um, and they would get access. Now, the beauty of this is that one of the conditions of being a contributor, one of the experts, as it says here, uh, is that you must submit at least one video per month or so, so that this will start to get more and more populated with videos as time goes on. All of these videos will be hosted on Amazon S3, and the, the model of doing it as unlimited model is a lot easier than any kind of pay-per-view, uh, just because of two things. Number one, that's a hassle from a billing standpoint a little bit, and number two is that once you, you know, give people an unlimited model, it tends to work a little bit better because they don't feel as if you know they're having to pay every time they watch something but instead they just get one flat fee and as long as you're uploading new stuff all the time so anyway this is going to be launching soon and our model is going to be the following we're doing um, I, think, I think we're doing a, uh, an, a 40 40 20 split so the split will be Elliot and I get 40 each, and the contributors get 20% of the action. So, you know, our goal would be to have a whole lot of people signing up for this. And, and the model pretty much, and this is uh, we're, what we're thinking of, is $9.95 per month for the charter members and once they they pay that amount per month and if they ever unsubscribe they can't get in at the 995 ever again this is opened up for a period of time and so it's trying to get them to stay so then the other price point would be 1495 and then 1995 and what's going to happen here is at 1495 that is if you buy at least, well, I think, I think we're going to do either a three or maybe a six month membership up front. So it would be $14.95 times that. And this would be the month to month fee. So anybody who signs up as a charter member is $9.95 as long as they stay a charter member. As soon as they do not pay for a month or drop out, if they want to come back, they have to pay either of these two fees. So that's the model here. And <clears throat> what's going to happen is that the people who now, in the event that any of the people that are doing some of the instruction decide to drop out, um, I'm not sure exactly how we're going to word the contract, but basically they no longer are participating in the revenue unless they hit a certain number of videos per month. Because what we want to do is populate this with a lot of Video. So, Avish, this is uh, kind of a similar model uh, to something that uh, we could consider as well. What do you think? 
I like it. Uh, you know, it's just a matter of getting that platform of people who are willing to sign up. I mean, I love the idea of having a membership site. Yeah, and I, I sort of, um, now, I, I don't know. We talked a little bit about doing, getting the multiple topics. Have you had a chance to jot down any of those? We were coming up with, I think, 50. Uh, I didn't do that yet. I did the, um, send out a, I put together and sent out a survey to our list. Oh, yeah. Tell me, the, what did the survey say? What were, what were the questions? Um, please write the following topics according to how interested you are in seeing them in, covered in free formats. Uh, same question, but for paid formats. Then a question on um, what formats do you like for product and services. All these were ratings 1 to 5. And then what's the biggest question on the business side? What's your biggest question on the presenting side? And then any other thoughts? Okay, why don't you give me your, uh, your results? All right, well, kind of in a – it's not all that surprising. Far and away on the free side, um, marketing, getting speaking gigs was the runaway topic that people want. Um, next highest was creating and selling products. Then there are a few all around the same, around, like on a scale of 1 to 5, in that 3.9 range, we're writing and publishing books and ebooks. Uh, humor, storytelling, and writing were all kind of grouped in that same range. But the top ones uh, were but the these, these two. one on a scale of 1 to 5 was a 4.74. Now, to be fair, we only got about 20 results. So um, yeah, it's not a huge sample set, but these are at least are people who are engaged. Okay, so... Um, um, the paid... Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, the paid had a similar distribution, but all the numbers were lower. So... You know, I guess in the marketing for the, the blog post, the free ones were 4.74. Uh, for paid, was 3.89. So it was still the far away one that people want the most information on. Um, and the distribution was basically the same. You know, creating and selling products was next. Then a few things around humor and storytelling and books and ebooks, topic wise. Okay, so what, uh, give me your. So what, what conclusions, given that we have a limited sample size, but what, what do you think we should then do? So what, 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 should, we be, what should we be doing? What's our, uh, what's our bottom line on this in terms of what we should do? I think a tight product, um, not super high, but like a really focused on marketing, kind of like our free ebook on how to get, um, almost like a follow-up to our free ebook, which is, how to get paid speaking work in 90 days. Something that's a little bit more robust than that, um, but at a low price point to get people in the funnel, because that seems to be the thing that people want the most. Um, and at a low price point, you know, once they kind of got like the site and like the content style, that I think would be the uh, the next, that would be probably the most like product they would buy. Got it. So um, what do you think then in terms of, Moving forward, uh, next step for you and me. Well, interestingly enough, the um, on the format question, by a slight margin, the um, the guided workbook, which is a downloadable PDF with an audio MP3 walking a person through it, seemed to be the highest. Uh, just by a slight margin over PDFs, seemed to be the highest um, preferred format. So I'm thinking if we take some of the basic marketing stuff we have and then put it into a, a workbook format to step someone through, putting together their niche market, their positioning statement, um, put that together as an MP3 and downloadable PDF, price that around you know, the, the $17 range, and put that as the first product after people opt in. And what kind of length do you see that being? Uh, I mean, I see it being around an hour for the the audio, and then whatever the associated workbook, which will be, you know, have a fair amount of blank spaces in there for people to fill in. So, got it. And so you're looking at then, we're looking at sort of a seventeen dollar one hour audio with workbook that they can sort of follow along. That's kind of what I'm thinking. 
it's not really something we've tried either, so at least be a different style of product too. Okay. And uh, so, again, let's go back to this. What are the next steps for you and me? Um, it's a good question. I mean, I guess for me it would be the, the next step would be to put together uh, the outline. And then I could send that to you and you could kind of review it and see you know, what's missing, what needs more, what your thoughts are. Okay, and then so so we you you create the outline, you send it to me, I look at it, and I say here a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then we record it and we have it. Now, how long do you see this? This, I mean, if it's only an hour, it can't be that big of a workbook. Maybe four pages max, I would imagine. Um, it it could be. I mean, I did one for my other site. Which you know the workbook I think it had nine steps the whole program was about two hours, um, so the workbook also had a little bit of an explanation in there. Um, I don't remember the exact length, but it was more like a twenty to thirty page workbook. Gotcha. And, and my what? one hour thing, I mean, obviously, like you've said, the product is as long as the product needs to be. So the one hour is just kind of a a best guess. But once we get in there, who knows? It may go you know longer as you go into more detail on some of the steps. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So why don't uh, so let's put some some time frames on this. So when do you want to have that? When do you want to get that to me by? Um, I would say I'm going to try to get the outline to you by next Wednesday, but I have something for this Friday and next Thursday. So at the latest, it'd be two Wednesdays, but um, I will shoot to get it to you before then. So to get to me by in 14 days or less? Yeah. Okay, cool. And, uh, yeah, I like the idea. And then what we can do is everybody who comes in the door. So now, if we have this at 17 bucks, so then what's next? What's the, what's the follow-on product to this? That's a good question. I mean, we have a couple of those bigger... 97, 127 type audio program if people just want a product. But I think the other upsell might be like a, you know, if they're going through this marketing workbook, the upsell might then be like, look, if you want more in-depth thing, we'll do like a, a one-off coaching call or a two-part coaching call with either with just me or with me and you together. Yeah, I mean, I think that we should then again go for and then coaching as a group. I think that 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 still works, which is so the front end. We ha we already have a bunch of products that we can we can sell them after this one. Um, and yeah. so my thought is that we come up with so coaching one on one because really, as far as I'm concerned, in speaking, there's only you know two things that people will pay for, which is marketing to get gigs and speaking skills. So I think that in both, I think that we may want to have, and this, by the way, is working very well for Bill DeWeese of uh, voice-over-training uh, fame. Um, he is doing a monthly sort of marketing deal, how to, how to get your voiceover business going. So maybe we set up an ongoing coaching group as a group in both these two topic areas, marketing and speaking skills. What do you think of that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a great, uh, I mean, I think the marketing one makes total sense. The speaking skills, I feel like would be a little harder to do as a group coach, but I guess if we incorporated more video and whatnot into that. I agree with you. I mean, I think that it'd be worth trying to see whether or not we could do it. And what we could do here is again, if we set up a, some kind of a coaching deal, why don't we use that same concept of a, a of a charter membership, where they come on, and this is a you know why don't we do a something like an every two weeks, or maybe one and actually let's do once a week, once a week, and what happens if is if they join, 
they pay X amount of dollars per month, and that's their, uh, you know, and then we just get on and we talk about marketing topics. I, I, I agree with you. I think the marketing is, marketing more lends itself to group, and speaking skills lends itself to one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. But I think if we did a, you know, a, a speaker's marketing, you know, session, I think that might, I think that might work well, especially if we keep it really reasonable. Yeah, we'd say that again, a speaker marketing what? A speaker marketing sort of, you know, round table. We get people together uh, once a week. If they sign up for the month, it costs them. And again, we can make this extremely reasonable because we're trying to sell them other products and services. So why don't we do something like, you know, they get a monthly subscription to these you know, these uh, webinars or teleseminars, probably webinars, can be, you, we can use this platform. And they get on for, um, you know, 50 bucks a month. And so we get them coming through the door, we give them, and once a week we're talking to them, giving them marketing ideas and advice, and obviously our goal is to sell them additional products and services and keep the upfront price pretty reasonable. So let's say, Let's say we got, let's be really modest and say we got eight people to pay us 50 bucks a month, $400 in revenue, and we're on the phone with them for an hour once a week. Now, that's not a lot of money up front, but I see that those same people might then become, you know, they may buy additional products and services or go for the one on one coaching. Right, and the appeal here is when they come on the call, it's not just me and you just talking about whatever we want to. It's they can ask their questions on the call, get us to review their stuff, see how they're doing, give them feedback, things like that. Yeah, I see it being you know maybe ten minutes of you and I talking about a topic, and then opening it up for the remaining forty-five minutes or so for questions from them, answering their specific questions. Yeah, I mean, I like the format. I think at the $50 price point, I think a lot of people would, at the very least, want to try it out. Um, you know, because once a week to be able to hop on and get whatever feedback is pretty, I mean, that's $12 a week, basically, to get uh, you know, direct feedback on your speed of marketing. Yeah, and I think that, by the way, all of those um, all of those should be recorded. And by the way, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm tempted to stop the recording of this session We've been getting, we've been having some audio problems, and I can't figure out what it is. There's a, uh, you know, sometimes an echo. Sometimes with you, there's no echo, and sometimes there is. And I'm wondering if it has to do with whether or not you're using a mic or the built-in mic or whatever it is. And I'm tempted to stop the recording here for a bit and just see, um, you know, what I can do that at the end of this recording. But I, you know, I'm I'm always curious as to why there's a problem sometimes with the system because we obviously, if we're going to be recording these. Because I think that, you know, basically people are going to be paying us to create more product. Also, you're saying to record these and then we can use these as uh, products or the basis for new products? Well, I think so. Um, uh, as long, and at that price point, I don't think people would have an objection to being recorded. Right, I and mean, especially we'll let them know up front that look, we're going to be recording these and using them for whatever. Yeah, well, I think that that's yeah, that's the whole point is that so for fifty bucks a month, we give them an hour a week of our time, which gives us the opportunity to market to them other products and services, gives us a little bit of revenue, and also creates you know product every week. And then what happens is those those create sort of a uh, you know a a library of different topics. That maybe we can do something similar to what we're doing with uh, with the psychology, the therapy training videos, where instead of this being, you know, this is now the speaker training audio library or whatever. Right. What do you think? I think it's a good. I mean, I certainly think it's worth a shot, and uh, I like kind of the fifty dollar price being the almost like a charter membership type thing too because I could see if this takes off obviously having too many people would be prohibitive so we'd want to raise the price so the fifty dollars could be an incentive to be like look this is going to be more expensive later so if you want to get it now yep and also if necessary if we 
if we end up with too many people, we can just create additional groups. Let that be our biggest problem. Yeah, yeah. If we have too many people, we'll figure that out. Yeah. So in other words, we tell them that there will be ne there'll never be more than X number of people on the call. So if we hit that number, let's say it's ten, then we immediately start another group, do it on a different time, different day, whatever. Yeah, and now we can work out. So. Yeah, so I mean, I think that this is a good, good model here. Um, yeah, so I think that I think we have some a good plan. Yeah, yeah, I definitely uh, like it. So, you know, that will probably take a little bit longer to put some of the stuff together, especially if we're doing the the PDF audio and workbook first. Yeah, I think that this is all uh, you know, this is all future stuff. But I mean. I think we could get this all going uh, up and running by the fall, I would think, you know, sometime October-ish. Yeah, probably within a few weeks after the the PDF thing is done. I mean, a lot of just putting up the web page and setting up the shopping cart because there's not a whole lot. Um, it's not like we're creating a product, it's just kind of creating all the structure around it. Yeah, and uh, again, there's, you know, we have different models to do this. So that sounds good. Why don't we do that? And... Um, we can get going now. I think that that's a lot to do. Clearly, you know, there's plenty of work involved there. So I don't want to start to uh, create any additional work uh, for us. Um, did you glean? Yeah, anything? I think if we focus on this, actually, just had a thought: is if we kind of have that ready to go by late October, I'm going to be speaking at the NSA Atlanta chapter on October 19th. So, you know, that would be a real good time to try to, you know, to promote that and get people signed up because I think that will be a, a good captive audience right there. So Yeah, I think so. How many people do they usually get at their meetings, did you hear? Uh, I haven't found out. I, I thought someone told me in the past they actually had a decent number, like 60 or 70. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, you know, that chapter I'm, I'm sure is pretty active. It, was there anything that you found out from the convention that would be of interest? Uh, not really. My convention experience was more good seeing people I know. And uh, you know, I did a few programs. I did an improv thing. I did a, a breakout session. So you know, that was more just kind of getting my face out there. So it was beneficial for me that way. I can't really say I walked away with a whole lot of like content ideas this time. Right. Yeah. I mean, after a certain point, I think it becomes more... It becomes more uh, fun to socialize with friends than it is actually meat and potatoes. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Okay, well, let's uh, open it up for any questions anybody has at this point because I think you and I have uh, exhausted what we want to talk about and see if anybody else has any ideas here. So if you have any questions on anything we've talked about thus far, um, please put it in the question box now. We'll take those until you're done asking us on either of the topics that we talked about here today. I think we talked about this, and then Avish and I talked about future plans for speaking expert and things we're doing there. So fire away, those of you on the webinar who want to ask some questions. And we'll give you a couple minutes to decide on that. So um, yeah, I think that that's a, a good overall plan. Um, one of the things, just as people are figuring out whether or not they're going to ask any questions, is that I recently, this is kind of strange, um, Bill DeWeese uh, has obviously, gets people asking him all the time about equipment, right? So, voice over equipment, and we have been remiss in not... Uh, so, you know, getting signed up to uh, remarket some stuff. So we got in touch with B&H. And for some odd reason, there are, I think it's like six states, and Illinois, where he's based, is one of them. Six states uh, do not allow people to sign up as affiliates. Probably because of some stupid state regulation that makes it really onerous for them. So... I'm going to probably end up signing up as the affiliate for B&H and have my links, you know, on Bill's site and get paid and then give him 
his portion rather than him sending me money. But uh, I don't know how much money that's going to be worth. The other thing is that we still have not gotten, although we had a pretty strong effort, we were trying to recruit various, you know, manufacturers, <coughs> manufacturers of voiceover related products and services, and we we're trying to get people to uh, to sign licensing deals. I mean, not licensing, but endorsement deals or whatever, where Bill would use your microphone if you pay him a, a yearly fee. And as he gets bigger and bigger, I think this is going to be easier to do. But um, we didn't get any bites. Um, I, I called them. So we called the two people that own the, you know, one of them was Whisper Room and the other was a competitor of Whisper Room. And we said, look, here's the deal. And I think I, did you hear me talking about that at some point? Yeah, that sounds familiar. This is like a, a few months ago, right? Yeah. Um, so we got no bites yeah. on that. But, you know, you're in, in an info marketing business. You should be constantly trying to figure out where, where is their low hanging fruit for revenue. And as soon as Bill starts to, I mean, you know, you go to, you know, when you go to Amazon, and again, it's not like he's selling a ton of these, but, you know, you go to the, the books here, and this is, you know, it's it's selling regularly and what is it number 57 in books of general broadcast yeah, that's actually not very good uh, but it's it's been selling well and he is going to start he's I think he's getting invited to speak at a bunch of places and he's going to start to grow more and more and as someone gets bigger and bigger the opportunity to you know the larger the, the platform that you have the greater the opportunity to get people on as endorsers, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so if you go to YouTube and you see his, um, Bill Deweese, um, now has 2,000, 2,700 subscribers. You know, and so that's, uh, oh, wait, let's see. I haven't heard this. Some commercial he did. Meet the, Meet the Mercedes Benz C Class. Meet, Meet Big League Pitcher Sergio Romo. The C Class is athletic, just, just like, like Sergio. The C Class is impeccably tailored, tailored. just like Sergio. Like Sergio. At, home At home or on the road, the C Class has a way of getting noticed. noticed. Just, Just like, like Sergio, Sergio. the Mercedes-Benz Mercedes C-Class. Take, your, Take test your test drive today at your, at your Bay Area, Area Mercedes-Benz Mercedes dealers. dealers. That's what's up. <laughs> but uh, did I tell you that, uh, I don't know if you heard this, but he got paid, um, he's the voice of uh, a Ford or whatever for Europe, so he ended up getting uh, an additional 13 or 14 grand, so he's getting paid like 3500 a word. Did you hear like like what thirty five hundred a word? Yeah, yeah. So basically, he got he got he got an extra fourteen grand to say four to have four words of his used for the next year in Europe as the voice of something for Ford or something like that. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Um, and by the way, uh, we are going to be releasing a product which I want you involved in. He's going to be here over that weekend coming up. I guess it's. I guess it's a week. Next weekend. weekend. It's a week from this. It's the the weekend after next. He's coming into town, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the programs we're going to be doing is on speaking, and I I'd like to have you involved in that. I'm not sure what days we're recording it. Are you going to be around? Like twenty. Uh, 20 uh, when is he going to be there? Twenty second weekend or twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth of August. Yeah, yeah, I I, uh, I have an all day thing on the twenty second and an afternoon thing on the twenty third. Um, but so we can set it up time wise, -wise and, and I can definitely do it on Saturday. Saturday just to make some time that day. Yeah, um, just send me an email letting me know your availability. Uh, yeah, yeah. Quick question here from uh, Scott. Take it at Scott. Scott's wrong. Scott's asking, what is the cheapest way these days to get a 
physical book done. Um, I'm just using uh, Create Space, Scott. Um, it's I don't know if it's the cheapest, but it's certainly the easiest given that they work with Amazon. So if you want to get a, a book done, this is where you'd want to do it. And uh, that would be my recommendation. And then for the ebook portion of that, so you're either going to go to createspace.com or kdp.amazon.com. That's for Kindle, and that's for physical. Hope that helps. Cool. So, um, Good, we're right at, we finished uh, 30 minutes here, and I think we've gotten everything done that we need to do. And